Recent reports have brought significant attention to a concerning event involving Prince Harry, a prominent figure in both the British royal family and global mental health advocacy. Allegedly, Prince Harry was hospitalized at midnight due to an episode related to post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, an incident that has naturally raised questions about his well-being and the ongoing challenges he faces. As discussions continue to unfold, it is crucial to approach the situation with a balanced perspective, prioritizing empathy and a commitment to factual accuracy. According to various sources, the incident occurred at Prince Harry's residence in California, where he has been living with his wife, Meghan Markle, and their children. While specific details of his condition remain private, it has been reported that the situation was serious enough to necessitate an immediate response. Prince Harry, who has long been open about his struggles with mental health, particularly in the aftermath of his military service, has used his platform to highlight the importance of seeking help and reducing the stigma around mental illness. The news of Prince Harry's hospitalization has sparked widespread discussion across various media platforms. In the midst of this, a legal professional has reportedly stepped forward, claiming to have access to documents and statements that could shed light on the circumstances surrounding the event. However, it is essential to approach these claims with caution. The full context and verification of such allegations are not yet publicly available, and it is crucial that the discussion remains grounded in confirmed information rather than speculation or unverified reports. Social media a powerful tool for public discourse, has seen a surge of reactions from individuals expressing concern for Prince Harry's health and well-being. Hashtags and messages of support have circulated widely, reflecting the deep connection many people feel towards Prince Harry and the issues he champions. In particular, his advocacy for mental health, which has included candid conversations about his own experiences, has resonated with many who appreciate his efforts to normalize discussions around mental health challenges. Public figures and mental health advocates have also contributed to the conversation, underscoring the importance of creating a supportive environment for those experiencing mental health issues. This is particularly relevant in the case of PTSD, a condition that can be triggered by a variety of factors and often requires a nuanced and comprehensive approach to treatment. Experts in the field of trauma and mental health have emphasized that recovery from PTSD is a highly individualized process, one that may involve a combination of therapeutic interventions, medication, and the establishment of a strong support network. Dr. Elizabeth Hartley, a renowned trauma specialist, has commented on the general process of PTSD recovery, noting that recovery from PTSD is a complex and deeply personal journey. For those in the public eye, like Prince Harry, the challenges can be even greater due to the added pressures of maintaining a public image while navigating personal health issues. It's crucial that we approach this situation with compassion and an understanding of the complexities involved. As Prince Harry focuses on his recovery, there are naturally questions about the future of his public and charitable endeavors. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been involved in a range of initiatives aimed at promoting mental health awareness, supporting veterans, and addressing social issues. While the long-term impact of this incident on their work remains uncertain, it is clear that the priority at this time must be Prince Harry's health and well-being. In light of this situation, it is important to reflect on the broader implications for how society discusses and addresses mental health, particularly in the context of high-profile individuals. The discussion surrounding Prince Harry's recent hospitalization provides an opportunity to reinforce the importance of mental health support and to challenge the stigma that often surrounds these issues. By focusing on verified information and maintaining a respectful tone, the media and public alike can contribute to a more informed and compassionate dialogue. It is also worth noting that mental health is a deeply personal and sensitive topic. As such, any public discussion should be conducted with care, ensuring that the privacy and dignity of those involved are respected. Misinformation and speculation can be harmful, not only to the individuals at the center of the story, but also to the broader efforts to promote mental health awareness and support. Therefore, it is vital that we await further details and rely on credible sources before drawing conclusions. As this situation continues to evolve, the world's attention remains focused on Prince Harry, 
a figure who has inspired many with his openness and commitment to mental health advocacy. The hope is that he receives the care and support he needs during this challenging time and that the public discussion remains centered on promoting understanding and empathy. The unfolding events serve as a reminder of the ongoing importance of mental health, the challenges faced by those in the spotlight, and the collective responsibility to support one another in times of need. This incident, while deeply concerning, also highlights the broader conversation about mental health in society. It underscores the need for ongoing education, awareness, and the breaking down of stigmas associated with mental illness. As the public awaits further updates, it is essential to keep the focus on compassion, support, and the accurate dissemination of information, ensuring that the narrative remains one of understanding and empathy.